Presently, Beirut is a fragmenting city in decline due to the warehouse port explosion of August 4th, 2020, and is overwhelmed with social crises. Ever since this tragic event, a spectrum of responses were carried out as citizens began to express their loyalty to their political parties through door-to-door -door combat on the infamous demarcation border earlier this year. On the other hand, the youth began to mobilize in the streets of Beirut. Subsequent to these polar responses, the city faces threats of social stagnation and a reignition of past civil war tension, or the possibility for social reformation and national change through the speculation of a newly elected and just government. In the midst of all this chaos, hope is the last driving factor for the city to progress. These maps illustrate the extent of the ways of urban destruction, the prioritization of security methods within downtown Beirut, the dividing demarcation border from the civil war that socially dualized the Christian Muslim communities, and the Parliament Hall's political and social influence. The multiple social crises overlap together to form emerging social practices and thus a new systematic and pragmatic program. The range agendas are dedicated to justice, expression, education, meditation, and remembrance. Beirut, a green archipelago, is a hope-driven urban intervention that aims to set up the foundation of social reformation by challenging the city's misconceptions and empower the citizens of Beirut. The system of a polycentric urban landscape dedicated to the program stated earlier dates to specific statements within Oswald Unger's Berlin, a green archipelago, a manifesto of Berlin facing fragmentation, decline, and urban decrowth post the Second World War. One of the few points states the selection of urban islands within the archipelago based on the social historical background of these islands. A brief is designed to house the emerging social practices and moralizing and monumental public institutes. The spaces are inspired by the grand language of architecture per lant, Speaking architecture, Temples of Sociability by Claude Nicolas Ledoux are a set of ten moralizing institutes in the ideal city of Cha during the French Revolution, which embodies communal life and the starting point for a project of a utopian city. The temples selected are the Conciliator, the House of Accomplished Virtue, the Temple of Remembrance, the Church of Cha, and the Stock Exchange. Combining Ledoux and Unger's theoretical precedents conclude with the Beirut Archipelago. The monuments question and challenge existing public typologies through the adoption of Thomas Marcus's methodology in his publication, Buildings and Power, that analyzed the approaches in which these spaces either control or liberate society. Therefore, conventional spaces in the routine of the citizens of Beirut are then analyzed and reconstructed to unite the nation. The vernacular architecture of Beirut, and particularly the Central Hall House, is studied, a building that represents the ethnographic aspects of the working class. The centrality of Sada Hall enables assembly from all members of the family, a social custom present in an almost extinct building. These are the monuments called houses based on the communal language of local heritage, the house of one, wisdom, remembrance, expression, and justice. This is the Beirut archipelago. The purpose of the curated urban intervention on the border is to shift prominence from the government district to the districts of the demarcation border, the New People's Line. The monuments indexed to one another whilst challenging the nature of division and decline within the urban context. The House of Remembrance Central Hall frames a live scene of the site of explosion whilst, whilst narrating the martyrdom and resilience of the nation. In the House of Justice, citizens are reminded of the tragedy in this view of the memorial frame between the colonnade. This space is dedicated to practicing authentic democracy for the first time in modern, Beirut modern history. The auction house offers an economic proposition in the freedom to practice the right to expression bond by fraternal charity. The House of Wisdom's central auditorium challenges the reference classroom by being surrounded by an abyss of books rather than portraying religious symbols or political figures. The House of One hosts the city's religious complexity in hopes of defining the ethical similarities of the Abrahamic religions under one sanctuary, and these are Beirut's monuments of sociability.